Nice. Oh, hey. Uh, what's going on, guys? Big VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we got another Mega Touch. A free 99 Mega Touch. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, you know the drill. If you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. Click the link tree down below. What are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me because if you were following me, you would have seen the little short journey uh, that we had with this specific unit as far as me going to the customer's house, picking it up, putting it in the truck, bringing it home, doing a couple of testings to get this back to life. Uh, it should be a short and sweet video, but you know me, I like to talk, but uh, it should be short and sweet. I actually do like the outcome of this build slash cabinet. Uh, I did mention it was free 99. That was actually the original intention of being a free 99 pickup, but me being a nice guy and all, I said to the customer, basically I went to go pick it up, it was dead. Uh, and I said to the customer, I said, listen, if I bring it back to life, I'll hit you up. I'll give you a fee on whatever I do, whether it needs a new motherboard or if it needs a new hard drive. And then it's your call if you want to pay the fee or I'm just going to keep it. So I'm glad, I'm happy to announce that this is actually going back to the customer. So again, originally 3 dollars but I'm a nice guy. I'll give it back. So I'll give you a quick rundown of the backstory on this. Obviously, I'm everywhere, Instagram, YouTube. I'm on Facebook Marketplace. If you're in New York, you've probably seen several ads. I have quite a few ads on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, you know, my ads that I post, it's not actual cabinets that I have. I basically could build to order, especially when it comes to like the arcade stuff and all that. I write in the ad like, hey, you know, I'm a builder. I could build to order. I don't have any stock. And obviously nobody reads it. And they're like, hey, do you have this in stock? And anyway, I do have three, uh, three mega touch ads on my personal profile. Uh, one of them was being the RX, the tabletop. The other one was being that Force, the very kind of upright Z-back. And another one is kind of like this. I have a buddy of mine, uh, like I said in the past, I have a buddy of mine that was in the vending uh, company industry. And he had a couple of mega touches and he wanted me to sell them for him. So I do have an ad. It looks exactly like this. It's more of a white kind of big cabinet. Um, so I had an ad. I got a message back in May. Right now it's like February, I don't know, 3rd or 4th, it's February. I got a message back in May. Uh, this person messaged me and goes, hey, I see your Mega Touch. I actually wanna know, do you like work on Mega Touches? Are you like kind of like tech support? Uh, and I said, you know, what do you got? What's, what's the issue? I'm not a pro. I've been around Mega Touches, but I don't wanna call myself like, you know, an expert and I can fix every single thing. So he sent me a couple of pictures. He was basically having an issue when the PC would boot up. The motherboard, I should say. When the motherboard would boot up, it kept giving him a time and date error. And he's like, how do I get rid of this error? I said, oh, time and date, it's kind of simple actually. You have to go in and change the CMOS battery on the motherboard. It's like a watch battery, you gotta change that. I was guiding him, you know, it's all through Facebook. I didn't charge him for this. It's like, you know, hey, message me back. I'll message you back when I have time. So we were going back and forth and he changed the battery. Uh, and then he said that, you know, I, 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 I'm gonna change it tomorrow. I assume he changed the battery, didn't hear from him. All of a sudden, I get a message now, again, this is February 3rd, I got a message like January 31st, because I've had this in my hands for a week now. Um, get a message, and I'd rather actually read you the actual message. So the message says, in quote, I'm gonna probably toss the old Mega Touch. If you want it, you can have it for free. The cabinet's good and it powers up, it just freezes on the start screen. Uh, and usually, you know, I got that message on a Sunday. Today's Sunday, I got it last Sunday. I had this for exactly a week. And usually when I see the word, you know, free, uh, my eyes light up and Sunday is usually like a day for family. So I told the wife, I said, listen, I gotta go pick this thing up before he puts it on the curb. So I was like, please don't put it on the curb. I'll come and pick it up. And I just got in the car, you know, instinct. I was like, all right, I'll be there like in 20 minutes. So I got in the car. Uh, I met him real quick at his house and we didn't even boot it up at his house. I asked him, like, what happened? He goes, I did put the CMOS, but it won't go past the boot screen. We didn't even plug it in there. Um, I just said, listen, you know what? Let's just load it in the truck. But I do want to give you a heads up that if it's an easy fix, I'll just charge you, like, for gas, like, for me to come back. And he's like, Vic, if you could get it up and running, 
let me know. If not, it's yours. Take it off my hands. Again, May till February, it's been a paperweight. It's just been sitting there. So as we're loading up in the truck, he was telling me like, you know, uh, I originally had the date and time error. Now it just gets frozen on like the Linux, like boot up screen. Uh, and I was like, all right, dude, I'll, I'll try. He even said like uh, in the screen, it says like you need a keyboard to press F1. I was like, listen, I'll take it home. I'll work on it Monday and here we are now. So now honestly, it wasn't a quick kind of fix. It wasn't like a one, two, three, like, oh, I plugged in a keyboard. So it did need a keyboard plugged in. It did need a boot. It needed to press it. But I kept also getting on and off the date and time error. Basically, long story short, I actually had to clean up the area on the motherboard where the CMOS battery was. Apparently there was some dirt under it and all that. I had to take the gun and I did a couple of things. I actually even restart, like reseated it. Uh, I actually broke the soldering iron out. Like I never really do that, but I had to do a little bit of work. Once I got it booted, I got excited. I showed him a picture. I was like, hey, you know, I got it booted. The next step is to hit my buddy over, uh, his name is Eric on eBay. He sells like these mega touch hard drives and I never, personally seen like this one in particular. This is the max edition, so it's a max board. I have a force board. My RX countertop has an uh, ion board. So there's different boards when it comes to Mega Touch. So I said to myself, like, oh, you know what? Let me hit up Eric. Let's see if I can maybe upgrade the hard drive because you're right now running the Jade edition, which is a 2005. My z back runs 2011. Uh, so I thought, you know, it was the same kind of structure. Apparently it is not the max. Max is the max you could do is a 2006. So going back and forth, I was like, you know what? I'll try to upgrade the hard drive, but it was only adding like two games. And I was like, it's not worth it. And it was like 150 bucks for this hard drive. I told the customer, I said, listen, I got it up and running. Do you want to keep it like this? Or do you want to spend the extra money and get the new hard drive? He goes, Vic, man, I'm just happy you got it up. Bring it back to me and then we'll talk. So I was like, all right, cool. That's where we're at now. It was actually very funny because when I was leaving his house, he pulled up Facebook Marketplace and he pulled up a guy that's selling one exactly like this. The look of it, exactly. This guy wanted $800 for that Mega Touch. So he goes, Vic, what do you think? I'm gonna pull the trigger on this. And he showed me his phone and I was like, dude, it's 800 bucks. But to me, that's a lot. Like, you know, I have two Mega Touches though. So it's like, I'm saying that, you know, as an educational thing. To me, it's a lot, um, especially for the year on it. And I'm looking closely at the pictures of this ad and I'm like, dude, it's got a 2005 in it. You have a 2005, it's, it's your cabinet. He goes, yeah, man, but it works. I said, dude, just give me a week. Give me a week, because I would feel really bad if you just gave me this for free and now you're gonna spend 800 bucks on a new cabinet. I was like, dude, give me some time. I'm pretty sure I can bring it back. and. Sure enough, it is back and running. So again, he even said to me, he goes, Vic, man, if you get it up and running, you could keep it, you could sell it, maybe we'll go 50-50. I said, right now, let me get it back up and then we'll talk. So he was really excited that I got it back up. It has his original high scores in it and all that. So he's like, all right, I'll take it back. Cause I said to him, I was like, dude, 800 bucks is a, is a lot. Like you have it, it's here. Let's not, don't jump that bridge. Now, when I got in here, I did more work. I cleaned up the screen. I cleaned up the marquee. I actually removed the plexi. It was just beat. It was beat up. Very, like, cool. I personally never worked with this type of mega touch. What do I mean by that? This has, like, the car hood style of it. But what's really crazy is the motherboard is actually on this drawer. I'm not going to pull it all the way out, but that right there was mind-blowing to me. I was like, whoa, that's cool. But then there's like a lot of legs going on. Like, so you have a, I'm gonna bring you in closer. So now again, like I said, I've been around Mega Touches. This like extension here, never really seen that. It's up and then it's got like an out and then like it's going to the hard drive. There's a lot going on. The hard drive is dated October 20, 2006. So somebody dated, it says Jade 10-2006. Uh, it's just cool. Like, you know, it's just, it's, to me like this is, this is awesome. There's even like four services, like fax numbers and phone numbers. I do wonder if those are actually like even valid and all that. So basically I got it up and running. The customer's like, listen man, just go over it. Give it a once over, clean it up if anything. So I usually always do that. I take like, especially when it comes to the fans, I take the air hose and I shoot it out. Just a whole cloud of dust shoots out of it. But he did also tell me that there was an issue with the speakers. 
um, actually was on the motherboard, the headphone jack needed to be reseated, uh, just like the CMOS battery, so I had to break out the soldering iron. It was pretty cool. I've never really done that before, but it's just, I'm happy to, to, to get it done. Uh, so now his speakers are good. Um, the screen is cleaned up. I, I spent just now, because before the video, uh, I was cleaning up the cabinet because I was cutting wood. It got a little dusty. I shot it with the air hose. I actually vacuumed the inside of it. Uh, I did a lot of stuff. And then also, like I said, with the air, the, the fans, I blew it out. I, I even cleaned up like the motherboard stuff. Awesome. Like I'm just happy that in the state it's in, it's awesome. This cabinet is heavy. This is also my first time ever seeing opening a Mega Touch with an actual CRT in it. This thing is heavy just because of this CRT screen. So now you can see in the rear again, it's just poof. Everything's like empty here, but this monstrous CRT is, is majority of the cabinet. It is heavy. That thing, and me personally, like I'm never comfortable going near this. Uh, not to mention I do have like the vacuum and I, I have to be very careful when it comes to the CRTs because of static and there's a lot. I do take a lot of care. I might not exactly know what exactly is going on, but I know basics. Uh, the bottom of the cabinet was just dust filled, took the vacuum, it's all cleaned up. It's as clean as clean can be, uh, especially with the machine this day. You're talking back in 2006, the hard drive was put in. Other than that, oh, actually manufacturing date, January 12, 2001. Man, you are looking at right now, right? 2001 to 2002, you're looking at a 22 year old machine slash cabinet. Woo. So it's always, it's always cool to like see this, especially like in cabinets like this. I did find a collection report in the base, right? So the original company is SNJ Vending in Brooklyn, right? This cabinet, the, the receipt on this, on the date on this receipt is July 21, 2010. The location is Queensboro Motorcycle Club. So this was in a motorcycle club. It's got a meter reading. And basically, it made eleven dollars. Five fifty went to the vendor, and five fifty went to the customer. It's a fifty-fifty split. Eleven dollars. I don't know. I don't know like the date before the collection on it, but it's just it's cool to see. Like it's it's cool to see like this. Like this is old. Uh, but honestly, not much to say. It is what it is. I was playing my game, which is Photo Hunt. That is forever. My game, I actually, I'm like fourth place. I'm gonna give it one more go before I give it back. Uh, but all in all, it is solid. The speakers now are great. Original speakers, I didn't change out the speaker, I just had to fix the exact, the auxiliary uh, input on the actual motherboard. Let me just exit out. Gotta love that tune. And basically, you just go into setup, there is a volume kind of like slider. I'll go to it real quick. I mean, again, both speakers are bumping. Before, only the left channel was bumping. And it's all good. He's got the adult side of it. Uh, the other cool thing to notice is because it's a CRT, there's actually like this protective thing in front of the monitor. And it's got wires coming out of it. This is actually the touch sensor. So it's actually like a whole other piece of glass for it. I did clean it up. It had like, it was just crusty. Uh, so I did clean it up. I also gave the whole entire cabinet a nice little sponge bath, if you should say, so you could see like that black is just clean. Also, it's kind of crazy. Like the cabinet originally has artwork, but somebody painted it black. Um, it looks like it's a green side and there's definitely an emblem kind of sticker thing here. Uh, but all in all, it is back up. I'm going to go deliver it right now to the customer. Another mega touches. I like my mega touches. Mega touches are, they're awesome. If you could find a mega touch for a good price, hop on it. If I was personally going to sell this, I would probably sell it for around $400. Only because this is dated 2005. My, this version of photo hunt is different than like the 2011. Not to mention, it's a regular hard drive, so it's got its boot times, also like the game load times, but you can change that. If you wanted to go SSD, you have to change the whole motherboard. That's what Eric told me. He's like, you gotta change everything in it. I've never done that. 
uh, especially if this is like a CRT, I don't want to go into that realm. So count me out. I, I throw in the towel. And again, I would sell this if I was selling it, but it's going to go right back to the customer. Not too bad, right? So again, free 99 originally. It's going back to its home. Gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. And on that note, game on, my guys. Game on. I'll see you on the next one. I just said it again with Retro Ralph. Damn. <laughs>